Hello, so today I'm going to show about the implicit method and how to solve it using MATLAB programming. So this is firstly is the parameters input for the user to input the lambda, delta x, time step size, the length of the road, x0, xn and the number of iteration. So next user can manually input the initial condition and the boundary condition for their case. So next I'm going to show my slides to show how my program works. So this is basically the implicit method equation so from this equation we can derive three distinct main equation so for x1 which is the right hand side of the x0 we can carry over the i minus 1 value to the right hand side for the n for the xn x x and x minus 1 which is the left hand side of the x and x we can carry over the i plus 1 value which is x and x to the right hand side and all the right hand side value we will call it as d so this is the right hand side value and for the left hand side value we can easily know the value because it is a tridiagonal matrix consists of subdiagonal, main diagonal and super diagonal matrix which we, we can easily be calculated and then we can solve for the inverse matrix and get the temperature okay so this is the left hand side of the equation so we can know the super diagonal, sub diagonal and main diagonal and then we have the looping for the time for the so for the time it will loop until the iteration which is the nt and then for the position loop it will divide it into three which is the left hand side of the road right hand side of the road and the middle side of the road as i showed earlier which is divided into three main distinct equation so next we will transform the abc constant into row vectors so we, so we get bbcc and aa and we input that into the pqr so this is how to visualize the pqr for the left hand side and the d value will be put as s and the value will go into the tridiagonal <coughs> solver so for this case we will use thomas method which use forward elimination and back substitution so after we got the value we will, we will format it into short g to get fixed five decimal point because we have right now a big boundary equation of 5000 so it's better to put a uh, short g so then we display the output and we plot the 3d graph to see how the temperature changes over time okay so let's run the program so first they ask what is the lambda value so 0 0.03669 delta x value is 1 meter time step size is 30 second length of the road is 5 meter x0 value is 0 meter sn value is 5 meter number of iteration so for 30 seconds to get into 30 minutes we need 60 iteration okay so first in the common window we can see we can get a value that is almost identical to the manually calculated uh, value which already got right here so it is almost similar and then we can also see the temperature distribution over time in this 3d graph so we can see in the not 2 after 30 minutes we get temperature of 3100 3100 and then in the not 3 we get 1600 and not 4 we get 700 and not 5 we get 290 okay so for this we know that the temperature will increase to high level so that it will be more likely for for stress corrosion cracking to happen and we can also increase the accuracy of this data by by taking uh, more nodes in between the boundary uh, value so that's all for me for implicit method. Thank you.